Good morning, everyone. Today is another pre-maintenance checklist video, which means we're going over all of the different campaigns which are ending with this coming maintenance. But before we jump into all of that, if you're new to the channel, I upload NGS content daily. So if you do play this game, I would really appreciate a subscribe as it really helps out the channel. Anyway, without further ado, let's begin the video. So the very first campaign I want to go over is the Ultra PSO2 Day Infinite Burst campaign is going to be ending, which means that you will be losing your 100% EXP earned, 200% rare drop rate, as well as 200% fixer drop rate after the maintenance. So make sure if you haven't farmed a lot yet that you do take advantage of this, as all of these boosts are pretty substantial, especially in the limited time quest if you are farming for tickets, for example, as well as farming the Nameless City if you still need those Iridium weapons because you're still trying to get the perfect EXP augments. Now do take note if you are a premium user that we will get another session of this Ultra PSO today starting on July 22nd all the way till July 29th. So if you are a premium member we will get another session of the Ultra PSO today Infinite Burst which is definitely really really nice. The next campaign that is ending is the Ars Cash Super Sale Summer Sale 2024. So as we can see over here it will be going away with maintenance. This is basically a 50% off on all of your AC that you purchase. Um, so if you are planning to be scratching on the Eminence in Shadow collaboration, I do recommend topping up now as you do get more bang for your buck right now versus if you wait till later then you're going to be paying full sticker price. Now with that out of the way, the next thing I want to talk about are the AC scratches which are going away. The first one is the Accessory Revival June 2024, so if there's any accessories that you want here, there are a ton of accessories as all of these accessories are reruns. But, uh, you know, make sure that you do take a look in case there is anything that you want. The Rewind Collection, so these are the outfits, is also going to be going away with the coming maintenance. So if you want the Fluff Ball, for example, you might want to pick that up as well with the Seal Hat, which is definitely super cute as well. Now we still have one more week of the Code Geass Scratch, so you don't need to worry about this. You know, you still have one more week, but right after the Code Geass Scratch goes away, we are getting the Eminence in Shadow, and that's the one that I'm super excited about, so I can't wait for that. Now another AC Scratch that is also going away is stylish avenue over here so again there are some really nice hairstyles as well as some hoodies over here in case you do want to pick those up now the next thing i want to talk about is going to be the item recycle shop so when we go to shop over here item recycle we can pick up 50 star gems as well as 50 alpha reactors for n ex cubes so make sure that you actually purchase this as you can see right here it will cost you 100 n ex cubes so maybe the alpha reactors might not be worth it for you but i would definitely pick up the star gems so you can see over here it cost you 50 and EX cubes in order to pick up 50 star gems. I think this is definitely worth it. But the, the alpha reactors is really up to you. If you can afford it, definitely pick it up. If you can't, it's not the end of the world. Now, if you're wondering how to get more of those NEX cubes, simply come to the item lab over here. Go to exchange enhancement materials, other enhancement materials, and you can see right here NEX cube. There is no limit over here, so you can exchange for as many as you want. But you'll be able to exchange your regular class EX cubes into NEX cubes, which is very nice, especially if you only play one class. You can see over here that I have 17,000 of these N Braver EX cubes. So, you know, I can select 999 and what bam, now I have 99 of these NEX cubes and I can do this as many times as I want as long as I have the class EX cubes in order to get a bunch of NEX cubes. So you can see we did that like three or four times. We now have 300 of these NEX cubes, put those away very nice. Now we're going to sell the 50 alpha reactors that we just picked up for 100 of these NEX cubes and that's going to give us 175,000. Remember this is a weekly thing so you can do this every single week just to get a healthy amount of star gems as well as Masetta. Now another thing I want to remind everyone is of course the seasonal shop. Don't forget to start farming some seasonal points here and there now because remember you can buy 40 of these tickets over here which actually gives you an emote as well as a bunch of hairstyles and voice tickets as the scratch count bonus. So that's definitely very nice. But more importantly is the 200 alpha reactors over here that you can pick up for 300 seasonal points each. This actually gives you 700,000 Masetta. So make sure that you actually buy this and sell all of them in order to convert it into raw Masetta. All right, with that out of the way, the next thing I want to talk about is, of course, the Arch Records. So this week's Arch Records is the Halfia Lake Board Solos. So just make sure that you do participate and do it once so that you do get your 20 Arch Record badges. Now, the reason why you want to get these Arch Record badges every single week is so that you can actually afford all of these weapon camos as they do rotate every month. And on top of that, you can also pick up weekly Star Gems. 
the next thing I want to talk about is, of course, the Aegis Integral Exchange over here. So first of all, we're going to exchange all of our Neo A weapons into Aegis Integrals right here. Well, bam. And once that is done, we want to pick up all of our Aegis Souls. So that's 50 Aegis Souls, as well as all of our Dominas. Now, something to keep in mind is we can now farm for full on HAL finales. So the HAL finales, as well as the Lux HAL finales have dropped in price significantly. But nevertheless, I still recommend doing this every single week because, uh, you know, it's basically free. And as long as you're doing this every single week, you are guaranteed to get a bunch of HAL finales. As you can see, I was able to make three HAL finales, which means I can actually make my Lux HAL finale right here. I can actually make two of these Lux HAL finales as we did farm up a bunch of regular HAL finales by just running the limited time quest as well as the urgent quest, which is super useful. Now as for the Glan Gigas Mass State, unfortunately, I'm not able to craft this as I do not have enough of those Fusia capsules, but the Gigas Mass Days do drop pretty often from the urgent quest as well. So that is a nice little plus. Now, if you did farm a lot of the giant mutants last week, make sure to check if you can craft any Gigas Mass Days. As you can see over here, I can craft six Gigas Mass Days right off the rip because I do have a bunch of these Fusia capsules. But on top of that, you just might have a ton of Gigas Stat 4s because these are dropping like candy now. So you're getting a ton of these. So just make sure to check the item lab and see if you can craft any additional Gigas Mass Days because you never know, you might be able to craft a bunch of them like me over here. And you know, they're still worth quite a good amount of money. You know, I crafted six of them and they're going for like, you know, 370,000 each. That is still a good chunk of money if I decide to sell these on the market. All right, the next thing I want to talk about requires us to go into the base game. So if you did download the base game, we simply go to block transfer and transfer to the PSO2 block. Now, the moment that you log in over here, you're going to get a bunch of rewards. As you can see, there is, I don't know why the handbook girl is giving me the symbol, but sure, let's talk to her. What? Oh, EXP gain, I, I guess, sure, whatever. But nevertheless, the thing that we want to pay attention to is going to be over here. We're going to run over to the purple counter over here and go to receive campaign items and receive item account. And right here, you'll see the play in super casino campaign. Make sure to pick this up as it does give you 20 casino coin passes. We're going to pick that up. So now when we open our inventory, you're going to see right at the bottom, there is 20 casino coin passes. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to head over to the casino right now. So let's head into the casino. And once we're here, we're going to play the slot machine right here. We're going to do this many times as we do have 20 tickets. So we can do this four times because each time you pull it's five. Oh, we got pretty lucky. We got 500 casino coins in one of the pulls. So that definitely boosted quite a bit. But we have four more or three more pulls over here. So let's pull again. Are we going to get lucky? Nope. That is just regular casino coins. And let's do it two more times. And we're going to get a bunch of casino coins. As you can see, I'm already at 2000 casino coins. We're at 2500 now. And we should be at 3000 after this, unless we get a crit. And no, 3000. So now that you have your casino coins, you're going to come over here. You're going to go to exchange for a limited time prize. And right here, 40 star gems. You're going to spend a thousand casino coins to pick this up. And then right here, you can pick up an additional 160 star gems, but you are going to need the casino coins. As you can see, in order to buy all 160, you're going to need 13,600 casino coins. So I am going to need to play the casino to earn a little bit of casino coins or earn a lot more actually in order to purchase the rest of the star gems. So make sure if you do want all of these star gems that you actually come to the base game in order to uh, do all of these activities so that you can afford all of these star gems as all of this this SG does carry over to NGS and is also account bound by the way because the limited time prize shop over here is actually ship bound so when you purchase all 200 star gems on ship 2 and then you log on to a ship 3 character you can purchase 200 star gems again and then you can do this on every single ship so this will allow you to earn a lot more extra star gems every single week but it does require you to actually farm the casino coins so I uh, just do keep that in mind Next up, don't forget about the Genesis Point Exchange Shop over here. I've been slacking a ton over here, but you can also purchase a bunch of goodies over here, including the Master Fragments, as well as some more Founder Capsules if you need that. But you can also get a bunch of LC Capsules for very, very cheap if that is something that you still need. Um, but unfortunately, I've been slacking off. As you can see, I only have like 1,700 Genesis Points. I definitely need to do my weekly 50,000 and running those time attacks in order to purchase more stuff. 
But last but not least, of course, we need to talk about the Alliance Magic Chain Shop over here. So make sure that you do pick up your 30 star gems over here as you can do this every single week. So wabam, very nice. Special thanks to all the members for supporting the channel. It really means a lot to me. Thank you again. But yeah, that's all I wanted to cover in today's video. Hopefully you guys found it helpful. If you did, I would appreciate a like and a subscribe. And I'll see you guys in tomorrow's video. Bye.